uh, distinguished guests, so ladies and gentlemen here. Um, I have probably three or four things just to um, steer you in terms of this event. First of all, um, our commissioners um, are unable to be with us today, um, but we are joined by the Director General of International Cooperation and Development, Kun Dun. Kun, welcome. And um, the Director General of uh, European Neighborhood Policy and Enlargement Negotiations, Christian Danielson. So thank you, gentlemen, for, for being here. In terms of working in this room, I'm, I have um, been uh, advised that we have one, two, three, four, six languages um, in the interpretation booth. We have French, German, English, Italian, Spanish, and Portuguese. So please make the most of those in, in the event. Um, we have to be out of the final event by 6.30. I've been told to say that too, and I think that's good. And um, I'd like to say a little bit also at the start about how the process is going to place, take place. My name is Norman Jardine. I will be the master of ceremonies for the very first part of, of, of the event. So, uh, in a moment, the Directors General, so Kun Duns and Christian Danielson, will say a few words before we then uh, progress to the uh, signing of the four guarantee agreements um, as part of the EU external uh, in investment plan. So we're going to have uh, input from um, the, uh, the Directors General. We will then move, move to uh, the signature agreements, and there are four. Uh, and we will do this with the counterparts from the four lead institutions managing each uh, guarantee. And that is then for the Agencia Española de Cooperación Internacional para el Desarrollo, ICID, and the, we, are, we are delighted to have the Secretary of State here, Juan Pablo de la Iglesia y, y González de Peredo. For the European Investment Bank, Vice President Liliana Pavlova. For KFW, Development Bank, Helmut Gauges, member of the Development Bank's Management Committee. And then for the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development, Vice President Pierre Heilbronn. And each of our four distinguished co-signatories will then make a few remarks after the signing ceremony. At the signing ceremony, we will do that one by one, so one person at a time. We will have an individual photo after each signature and then a group photograph at the end of the process for posterity. So um, let's start the event um, and uh, let's start with the commissioners. And I give the floor to Mr. Kun Dun. Kun. Thank you. Um, thank you, Norman. Um, Directors General, Secretary General, members of the board, observers, dear colleagues. Um, it's a great pleasure for me here today on behalf of uh, Commissioner Jutta Urpilainen, Commissioner for International Partnerships, who unfortunately as uh, Norman Jardine said, could not be here today uh, because she has fallen, uh, fallen ill, uh, to open this important meeting of the Strategic Board and to sign uh, some additional uh, guarantee agreements. I think it is impossible to overestimate the value of the work uh, we are doing together. Thanks to you, we have turned the um, European External Investment Plan and its funding backbone the, external, the, the European Fund for Sustainable Development, the EFSD, into meaningful, concrete actions that will boost investments in Africa and in the neighborhood. The fund has gotten off to a flying start. I'm delighted that we will add today four more agreements under the EFSD guarantee, which move us towards our overall target of leveraging 17.5 billion euros in further investment and creating close to 4 million jobs. With respect to blending operations, given the high level of interest from all stakeholders, we are now redirecting funds from the geographical funding envelopes towards further blending. Today, those operations amount to 3.1 billion in EU funds, leveraging around 29.7 billion in public and private investments for development. 
taken together, the use of blending and guarantees um, brings us on the way to leverage investments well over the 44 billion that was originally planned. So we're doing well. The setup proves its potential to attract private money and to generate investment activities that stimulate economic growth and job creation in the world's poorest countries. Crucially, they have also shown the benefits of the open financial architecture. So where do we go from here? Today, we will sign four new guarantee agreements, one on resilient cities, another one on access to finance for small and medium-sized enterprises, and two on renewable energy. They will all make a major contribution in our development efforts with partner countries in those areas. Throughout the next coming months, over the next year, we will sign the remainder of the guarantee agreements, where we will, which will involve a wide variety of financial institutions. They will benefit from the extensive work that has been done so far on establishing detailed rules and procedures. So if the past process on getting those guarantee agreements signed may have been a bit laborious from time to time, so I'm, I'm sure that in the future it will run more um, smoothly. Looking further ahead, we will obviously want to continue to use the full potential of the external investment plan to unlock, unlock private capital and investment. It will remain pivotal in our toolbox, um, both to enable us to unlock in partner countries' needs effectively and to promote the EU's interests and priorities, all of it benchmarked by the Sustainable Development Goals. And that is why the Commission has proposed a more ambitious European Fund for Sustainable Development Plus, EFSD Plus, with more resources and with a broader global reach in the next financial cycle. More resources invested more widely and better coordinated will enable us to do more for the fund's beneficiaries and so for the communities and for the people in our partner countries. It will mean that we can keep supporting startups and small businesses promoting green solutions like renewable energy, stimulating investments and creating decent jobs. And in particular, we welcome the direct assistance that the EFSD provides to women and young people who often find it difficult to get access to financing to start in business. Our instruments helps them to use their talents and skills to the maximum effect for their own benefit and for the benefit of the wider community and economy. Colleagues, the External Investment Plan and the European Fund for Sustainable Development are about unlocking potential. Potential of countries, potential of people. That is the real purpose of our joint work as members of the Strategic Board. And I want to thank you all for the invaluable expertise that you bring to the table. And I count on your continued support for this joint work. With a particular word of thanks, if you allow me, to the Czech Republic, Denmark, Estonia and Germany for their additional contributions to the EFSD. Thank you very much. Kuhn, uh, thank you very much for that, uh, for that intervention. Let's quickly follow that uh, by uh, Mr. Christian Danielson, who is the Director General for European Neighbourhood Policy and Enlargement Negotiation. Christian. Thank you. Excuse my voice, but uh, it seems to be a, what should we call it? Epidemia. Epidemia that is ongoing in the institutions. And, before, I will have to leave you a bit earlier because, in fact, I don't think it's good for me to be here and, and see to that some of you get the same epidemia. Uh, I am, as, as Kuhn uh, and, and as State Secretary, honoured to be here and uh, have the opportunity to, to sign the agreements. Uh, Oliver Varelli, the Commissioner, would have liked to be here, 
but unfortunately he is stuck in a meeting which he couldn't get out of. So I will take up that and, and represent it as much and as good as I can. Now, it is clear that uh, the external investment plan is uh, a very important and essential element when it comes to the neighborhood policy. Uh, it is an area, it is a kind of instrument that fits very well with the partners that we, that we are working. And uh, I think uh, it helps to attract more private sector, which is uh, so important for both the countries towards the east, but also the countries towards the south in the neighborhood context. And that creates uh, crowds in private capital, it creates jobs, and thereby also prosperity. And I think that is the way that we should look into these guarantee agreements, their additionality in that context. Because what is clear as well is that there is a reluctance to uh, enter both from domestic investors but also external investors. And there is a need for the kind of guarantee or instrument that these, these agreements that we signed today uh, provides for. Uh, and, and, that, and that is essential. And that mobilizes resources. That mobilizes resources beyond what is the, the kind of financial assistance that we can provide throughout the instruments we already have to our disposal. But I think it's also essential to recognize that the mobilizing of resources is only one part. Another part is also to see too that uh, the indispensable knowledge or, or competence when it comes to governance, business environment, is essential as well. And I think here is one of the beauties of the external investment plan, that it's not only about the financial resources, but it's also, as we shall discuss during the meeting today, about how we can jointly help the countries, the partners that we are working with, in order to have a more conducive environment for the kind of investments that they want and for the kind of investments that we would like to see. Let me also take the opportunity to thank the financial institutions, uh, be it the bilateral or the development banks of the member states, or be it the multilateral, the IFIs, uh, for all the contributions and efforts they have made in seeing to that uh, the whole project of the external investment plan, and in the future, the external financial, what's going on? Uh, EFSD, Sustainable Development, uh, uh, external, fi uh, fi external Fund for, uh, European Fund for Sustainable Development Plus, that that one develops smoothly and becomes the opportunity that we all would like to see, to see happen. Now, uh, we are clearly benefiting very much from the expertise that the IFI stands for, and what the development banks stands for. And what I see and what we will see in the future is more joined up efforts, more of us together making the argument of what kind of reforms we believe are important in partner countries and how we can help them to drive that forward. Let me perhaps take two words also on the two projects which are specifically focusing on the neighborhood uh, partners, the partners in the neighborhood. I'm thinking here of the EIB SME Access to Finance Investment Program, which will provide guarantees to local banks, easing their lending to small and medium-sized enterprises and unserved, uh, underserved entrepreneurs. And it will particularly focus on young entrepreneurs, female entrepreneurs and startups. And we, we expect that this program uh, will sustain approximately 18,000 jobs and support around 1,000 small and medium-sized enterprises through the area. And the other one is the EBRD pro uh, project framework to scale up renewable energy, which will boost the development of multiple private renewable energy projects in the European neighborhood, resulting in a significant reduction of CO2 emissions and introducing a number of new private investors to renewable sectors starting with Ukraine. And we will work hard from the Commission side uh, in, uh, uh, on negotiating and implementing the remaining guarantee agreements uh, under the current EFSD. And as was mentioned by Kuhn, we are really putting strong efforts into it. At the same time, we are preparing to support even greater volumes of private investments in sustainable development post-2020 through the so-called, as I mentioned, EFSD+, uh, which also will cover the enlargement countries. 
And we cannot forget that the European Union and its member states are the world's largest donors. We remain committed to supporting our partner countries in their efforts to step up reforms leading to economic stability and inclusive prosperity. And we have made good progress together so far on enhanced cooperation with our partners' financial situation, help us to speak with one voice, as I mentioned, as we guide our partners' countries in their respective reform process. I would like to thank you very much for your attention. I would in particular like to once again thank all of those institutions that are represented here today and the countries that are here today that have been participating with us on this endeavor. And I, I would like to echo Kuhn's uh, also great thanks to the countries who have further contributed, uh, which is so much welcome. Thank you very much. Christian, uh, many thanks, sir. Christian, many thanks. Um, we will shortly move to the signature of the, of the agreement, but first of all, we would like to show a very, very brief video on the EU external investment plan. So uh, now we move to the uh, four guarantee agreements. Before the signatures themselves, allow me to briefly summarize uh, each uh, guarantee. The first is, is called Resilient City Development, or RECID, and amounts to 100 million euros. And this is a partnership with the uh, ECID and the World Bank Group. The guarantee will help cities develop public-private partnerships to strengthen their resilience to climate change and improve public service services for their citizens. The second uh, guarantee agreement today is called SME Access to Finance, and it's a partnership with the European Investment Bank, and it amounts to 20 million euros. This guarantee will focus on enhancing access to finance to SMEs and address market failures in the neighborhood countries. It will target, in particular, underserved groups, such as women, entrepreneurs, young people, and migrants. So that's number two. Today's third guarantee agreement is the African Energy Guarantee Facility, AEGF. It amounts to 46 million euros and is a partnership with KFW Development Bank. This guarantee will bring more renewable energy generation to African countries by bridging the gap between real and perceived risks in the African energy market. And then finally, today's fourth guarantee agreement is called Energy Investments, and is a partnership with the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development. It amounts to 50 million euros. This guarantee will help to generate total investment of up to 500 million uh, euros in the EU neighborhood, including in Ukraine, Lebanon, Tunisia, and Jordan in order to increase energy generation from renewable energy sources and also assist in the implementation of the Paris Agreement climate goals. So a very, very brief summary of these four uh, uh, documents to be signed today. I now invite the co-signatories to come in turn to each sign two copies of their respective agreements with the Directors General. And, uh, we will start with someone who already has a seat at the table, with the Secretary of State, uh, De La Iglesia, Iglesia and uh, the President of ICID. Um, thank you, sir, for being here, and um, the process will, will start. Sit 
The photos are very much in demand. President Pavlova, would you please join us to sign your agreement on behalf of the European Investment Bank? The green light is here now. Third uh, signature uh, from uh, KFW Development Bank, uh, Vice President Gauges. Sir, welcome. Okay, and then the, uh, the uh, fourth signature, um, I'd like to invite uh, Vice President Heilbronn from the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development. Vice President, where are you? <laughs> there you are, thanks very much. Green light. Now there is one little uh, piece more of choreography to be done. I'd like to invite all the co-signatories with the Directors General for a group photograph, please. y cuyo objeto es promover la resiliencia económica de las ciudades africanas que se enfrentan al reto de la urbanización acelerada. Confiamos en que las garantías que contempla este acuerdo permitirán reducir 
la percepción de riesgo que tiene la comunidad financiera y la iniciativa privada sobre África y movilizar al sector privado local de los países beneficiarios y a los inversores externos. Estos proyectos serán de marcado carácter social y dirigidos a promover el diálogo entre el sector privado y los gobiernos locales e incorporarán en todos los casos la perspectiva de género, el respeto a la diversidad, al medio ambiente y a los derechos humanos y laborales. Quiero subrayar en este momento la importancia que ha jugado para la consecución de este acuerdo nuestra alianza con el Banco Mundial y el papel que también ha jugado el Instituto de Crédito Oficial para la articulación del sistema de garantías que prevé. Entendemos esta iniciativa como un punto de inflexión en la colaboración entre España y la Comisión Europea para el cumplimiento de la Agenda 2030 y la lucha contra el cambio climático en África. España está convencida de que la Unión Europea debe liderar desde su inicio esta década de acción para el cumplimiento de los ODS frente a los movimientos de repliegue o indiferencia que vemos en otros bloques políticos del escenario global. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much, sir. Um, Vice President Pavlova. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon to all of you, the dear Directors General, dear colleagues from the other financing institutions, distinguished colleagues, friends. Uh, I'm really delighted to represent here today the European Investment Bank and to sign the the bank's first guarantee agreement under the European Fund for Sustainable Development. I believe this is a great moment and I'm also delighted that uh, uh, to see that three more agreements were, were signed today. We at the European Investment Bank, we are proud and we are pleased to, to launch this program jointly with, uh, with our colleagues, with the European Commission and in the, within the framework of the external investment plan in order to contribute to the creation of high-performing and inclusive business environments in the EU neighboring countries. By joining forces with the European Commission under the SME Access to Finance Initiative, the EAB will be able to de-risk de financially local banks and therefore and uh, thereby to overcome key obstacles for the SMEs to access finance in the southern and uh, eastern neighborhood though creating jobs and uh, really supporting more than 1,000 SMEs in the region. The European Investment Bank is really committed to supporting the, the SMEs and really through, through the design of that guarantee and the product, we will offer to the banks uh, improved lending terms, uh, reduce collateral <coughs> requirements, lower financing costs, and uh, then it will provide really a possibility to to more risk-taking for the local banks to reach the underserved segments of the, of the market. In addition to this product, the European Investment Bank will complement this guarantee with advisory support, with market studies and with capacity building, as well with uh, additional funding whenever it is necessary and found appropriate and needed, of course. Overall, uh, the, the FSD guarantee uh, has a strong multiplying effect, in fact, because with the 20 million uh, of the available uh, which we signed today, we will be able to extend, we expect, in fact, uh, to generate new SME financing, which will be up to 200 million. So really the multiplying effect of this funding is quite high. Uh, as a partner of the European Commission, uh, the bank, I can commit today ourselves that we are really fully committed for the successful implementation of, uh, of this initiative, of this program, because it will be really important uh, based on this, of this, of of this success uh, for us to implement uh, and to deliver uh, in light with the next multiannual financial framework after 2020. And following this signature, uh, the European Investment Bank is keen to finalize five other additional guarantee proposals under the EFSD, like this include Africa Health Diagnostic Platform with cooperation of Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, 
equity platforms for the development of SME and urban investment and the digital transformation platform in the EU neighborhood in cooperation with our friends and colleagues in EBRD. So thank you very much for your uh, support, for your cooperation, and I wish the best of luck to all our partners in this program and in this initiative. Thank you very much. Thank you for the opportunity for some remarks. Um, it's uh, some years or some more years ago, I have been here in Brussels discussing what we could uh, innovate for new instruments uh, for the EU. And uh, I talked to many colleagues of the Commission and I said one of the main bottlenecks of the banks are the risk capacity. And what really would help is a guarantee facility. So you can imagine how delighted I am today be to sign the first agreement for the KFW for a guarantee facility. So just a dream came true for financing development institutions. Um, and I'm pretty sure that this will now contribute to the EU development objectives and really for more efficient use of EU funds. And this guarantee will enable KFW to join the African Energy Guarantee Facility. And with this 46 million euro, we will double the financial capacity of, uh, of the facility to 1 billion euro for the private sector for investments in renewable energy projects. And it's also a great achievement that this guarantee facility or instrument is open for all development financing institutions in Europe. So we can ensure <laughs> that with this way, these EU funds will be utilized to our strength and uh, all know-how of European institutions, so it makes much better a coordination and a very enforced uh, engagement. And I'm very happy, too, for this agreement because uh, the negotiations, as you can imagine, for a new instrument and the contracts to, to establish were really not easy. It's a complex story. It's a banking issue. It's a compliance issue, financing issues, regulation issues. But uh, finally, we did. And I would like to thank you very much for this. The team of K. Parplees, his whole team, and especially Sinas Panel, who was the responsible policy officer of the Commission, and for their really commitment to make this project a success. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Gauges. Um, and then finally, uh, Mr. Pierre Helbron. Hello again, sir. Okay. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thank you very much, dear Director General, dear Christian, dear Kuhn, and dear friends, because uh, I think this has v v been very much uh, a collective venture. I think it has been a long journey, just uh, as it has been said by our colleague from KFW. I think we learned a lot because we are also uh, exploring uncharted territories. Uh, and in a way, uh, the EFSZ uh, is a little bit of a revolution in, uh, in the, in the field of development finance. And I think uh, a wonderful revolution which can bring a lot. Obviously, we are very proud to sign today uh, this agreement starting uh, an ambitious uh, uh, project in, in Ukraine in the field of energy efficiency, obviously which will expand in other countries, very important for the future uh, of uh, the European Union, obviously also in uh, the MENA region, Tunisia, Jordan, all these countries are quite fundamental and obviously jointly we can make a difference. I think EFSZ is also something which really uh, uh, resonates a lot with principles uh, EBRD as uh, other institutions uh, present here have been advocating. Policy first, policy with investment, which means that financing alone cannot be enough. Um, but also, uh, I think, uh, open architecture. And I think uh, the fact that uh, around the Commission, uh, in dialogue with all member states, also represented here in the definition of objectives, we can put together the different strengths, different skills, the different 
geographical knowledge of our different institutions in a, in a open architecture can bring a lot uh, also to the countries where we want to, to deliver more. So thank you very much for also this opportunity in practice to show that we, we can deliver together then it's not only words, regulations, papers, but it's concrete also action we can deploy on the field. So thank you very much and I hope to continue on this basis, this uh, cooperation under the next MFF, because obviously we'll scale up <laughs> uh, these instruments and I think it's a challenge, but also a huge opportunity for all of us. Thanks. Thank you.